Among the United States Customs Service's many duties is the seizure of illegal drugs entering the country. Due to the inherent risk of violence in this job, many customs officials carry firearms. The combination of proximity to drugs plus firearms led the Customs Service to implement the Employee Drug Testing Policy that became the subject of National Treasury Employees Union versus Von Raab. In 1986, concerned that its employees might be availing themselves of the contraband drugs they seized and might be susceptible to bribery or blackmail by drug smugglers, the Customs Service decided to start a drug testing program. This program applied to employees who were directly involved with drug trafficking, who carried firearms, or who handled classified materials. The testing was done by independent contractors who required customs employees to produce a urine sample on site with various safeguards to prevent cheating. An employee who tested positive was subject to dismissal. A union of federal employees in Louisiana sued Customs Commissioner William Von Raab in federal district court. They alleged that the drug testing program violated the Fourth Amendment. The district court agreed and held that the drug testing plan was an overly intrusive policy of search and seizure without probable cause. The Fifth Circuit reversed, holding that the government had a strong interest in ensuring that employees who encountered drug traffickers at work didn't themselves use drugs. The United States Supreme Court granted cert.